what's up everyone on the Hydra Clan channel. I'm your newest commentator, Hydra Pizza, bringing you guys my very first commentary on the clan channel. So right off the bat, thank you Rocky Cinema for letting me into this clan. Uh, great opportunity being a commentator for you guys. Uh, might bring you guys gameplay eventually. I'm not a pub stomper, get that right, but uh, you might see a gameplay later on. But yeah, I'm a commentator for you guys. And yeah, so what you guys are watching in the background is a 96 kills non-lethal on the map retreat using the ball 27. This is by Hydra Hockey. Uh, in this gameplay, he actually picks up three relentlesses and he wasn't even using scavengers. So this gameplay could have been even more amazing, but still 96 kills non-lethals. That's a great amazing gameplay and uh, you should, guys should definitely go check out uh, Hockey YT, Hydra Hockey. Uh, his link will be down in the description. Uh, today, what I want to talk about for you guys is a, a int pretty interesting commentary topic, and it's kind of about uh, how the Advanced Warfare community has changed. And uh, I have a couple different points uh, you guys will see as the commentary goes along. And yeah, so hopefully you guys stick around, and here we go. So, the first thing I want to talk about for Advanced Warfare is kind of how the gameplay standards have changed compared to past Call of Duties. Now, taking us back to MW3 with the Moabs, uh, you know, it started off when the game came out. Uh, Moabs were like a great gameplay, you know, everyone would watch them. But, you know, as time goes on, there, people were getting doubles, triples, quads, and eventually near the end of the game, Penta Moabs. And uh, this, this is kind of similar to Black Ops 2 and uh, Call of Duty Ghosts with the nuclears and the camp strikes, you know. The game started out. Uh, with nuclears, like single nuclears, and then doubles and triples as the game progressed. And uh, this is a little bit different in Advanced Warfare, you know. Uh, like I said, for with the gameplay standards getting higher and higher uh, with the doubles, triples, whatever, etc. That's because people want to see more, you know. When the game's been out for like 5-6 months, people want to see more in the gameplays. You know, people are getting better, uh, the game is a lot more... Uh, fresh or not what am I saying that the game is a lot more like people are used to the game That's what I'm trying to say you people are really used to the game So people want to see more in these gameplays and uh, it's a little bit different in advanced warfare I think because DNA bombs are pretty hard to get you know if you compare a DNA bomb to uh, Nuclear camp strike. I mean obviously it's a 30 gun streak But if you compare this to a nuclear in black ops 2, I think this is harder than a nuclear uh, even though it's the same thing, I mean, this is advanced warfare, so it's I, I find it's a lot harder to get a DNA bomb than it is a nuclear in Black Ops 2. And, um, yeah, so like I said, uh, the standards for advanced warfare right now, they're, they're not that high, which is good for uh, up-and-coming pub stompers. You know, if they have uh, gameplay standards now, uh, they can definitely improve, and they'll definitely become a pub stomper later on in advanced warfare. Uh, but I find that in, in Advanced Warfare this year, uh, the standards won't go up too high. Uh, like I said, DNA bombs are pretty hard to get. I just caught my first last night. Uh, but the DNA bombs, uh, right now the standards are like fast DNA bombs, some double DNA bombs, and lots of kills non-lethal. So that's what pretty much people are looking for. And another thing I wanted to talk about how the, the pub stomping community has changed during Advanced Warfare is the whole reverse boosting controversy. Now, I could go on and on about this, but I'm just going to make this quick. Uh, just talk about the basics, what, what, what's what been happening. And uh, so basically, a whole bunch of pub stompers have reverse boosted. They're not afraid to say it. I mean, everyone knows that people reverse boost in Advanced Warfare. And where the controversy comes in is just, is it all is it acceptable by the community that reverse boosting is a thing? Now, personally, I don't reverse boost. I think I only ever did it in one game in Advanced Warfare, but that was only because I was really, really mad. I think I just like threw it on a Semtech and went like 0-60, but no, I don't reverse boost, and uh, I don't know. It's just something I don't do. I just like to play against people that are near my skill level. You know, I don't like versing like super tryhards, so... But yeah, this is where uh, Pub Stompers, you know, they decided that... Um, in advanced warfare reverse boosting is acceptable now uh this is a, this is really controversial because <clears throat> it kind of comes down to the personal opinion i mean i don't really care if people do it or not but um reverse boosting is something that everyone can do i mean you don't have to have any special uh special like abilities to do this no just anyone can reverse boost and uh, reverse boosting definitely does help you uh, because if you compare the skill based matchmaking in Black Ops 2 to Advanced Warfare, uh, the one in Advanced Warfare is a lot more accurate. You know, it really brings down to the skill level or really close to the skill level that your uh, stats um, match. Um, so, yeah, 
That's why a lot of pub summers in Advanced Warfare are already reverse boosted, and that's why you see uh, the, them with all the DNA bombs, you know, obviously because they're playing a lot less weaker players. And um, yeah, so it's pretty controversial. Uh, it, it's really just a commentary, it's, it's just a, a topic that people uh, just, you know, they have to think for themselves. They have to just think what's really happening with reverse boosting and how it's kind of changed in Advanced Warfare. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about for you guys in this video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you go subscribe to Hydra Hockey. Amazing gameplay here. And if you guys want to come check out my channel, my link will also be down in the description. I post gameplay commentaries just like this one and as well as some other series. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up everything for this video. Please don't forget to drop a like and I'll see you guys in another commentary. I'm out. Pizza.